Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. What's coming? The movie has more outlandish set pieces, more flashy locales, and a cityscape bejeweled by candy colored lighting. The cast has been beefed up with likable actors. The plotting is no longer linear, it's positively labyrinthine, with a mythical universe of god like assassins and their minions. The movie should by rights be a wow. But it feels bloated, self conscious, and pretentious with long waits between its few dazzling fights. Evidently, it's hard to build on a premise that's basically so vacuous and dumb. Keanu Reeves remains an asset, although wobbly in his big emotional moments. Reeves's long string of a body is fun to watch in combat, and his android blankness makes him look wittily streamlined instead of limited. The limits emerge when he tries to emote. After an excellent scene with Angelica Huston, the film turns dullish, especially when John's Casablanca-based colleague Hal Berry is called on to make like a female wick. The ending is sour, although I can't say why because of spoilers and all that. Think you can take John Wick? You got John Wick Chapter 3 is running out of ammunition. With the dialogue just the shuttle service to the next scrap. The action moves unnecessarily from Manhattan to Morocco. The recruitment of Halle Berry proves little more than a cameo. That's such a pity, given that her character has potential, and Berry's set piece now proves to be as finely tuned as Reeves. Although the action scenes are again superbly choreographed the direction has far more Teflon than tension. The sight of Wick shooting henchmen with their own guns already felt too familiar in Chapter 2. On a level of pure craft, John Wick Chapter 3 is unquestionably great action filmmaking. But as masterfully executed as the action is, watching two plus hours of mayhem without any palpable dramatic stakes, or nuance, or any emotion at all save bloodlust offers undeniably diminishing returns. There are only so many times you can see a bullet pass through a skull before it gets deadening, and then almost all. The impossible dream. As it stretches beyond the two-hour mark the film becomes desensitizing. Watching John Wick Chapter 3 is an exercise of pure aesthetic desensitization. The violence we see here is entirely removed from the reality of pain, or suffering, or fear, or desire, or triumph, or loss. It means nothing to any of the characters, its consequences are never felt, and it fills almost every inch of the frame for huge uninterrupted stretches. And when that disassociation is so complete, you start to ask yourself questions that you normally wouldn't. Why am I watching this? John Wick, excommunicado, in effect, in three, two, one. And away we go. going in like the old days just a conversation nothing's ever just a conversation with you john